My name is Norman Hedy. I'm speaking about the online mugshots industry. This is an industry in which computer programs similar to a browser are used to scrape the information off of police databases and post it in private databases. To remove your information from these private databases, the companies generally charge between $100 and $400 per picture. This is an extortion-like activity. When a person's picture is shown in these public databases and made available over the internet, a person is placed at increased risk of identity theft, at an increased risk of being denied employment and housing just because their picture is displayed online. The information that these databases contain have no resolution of criminal charges, only what the person is arrested for. They also do not contain any news. To show some information about myself, of which these companies are using, I'm going to run a search on my own name. You see here at the first they have a Norman Haga burglar, thief, liar, asshole. Then underneath that you have a mugshots.com, Weaver County. Let's look at this first one. If you take a look in here, Norman Haga, burglar, thief. Notice thief is misspelled because I will talk about this in other videos. You go on down and you notice that there's numerous references into mugshots.com and that they're laughing at the Cyber Squatting Act. The Cyber Squat Act prohibits a business, an agency, or a person from taking another person's name and using that for commercial gain or to use that against a person. Under the Lanham Act, a person has the right of publicity. If we go into here and we take a look or a photograph that most people aren't aware of, you see right here, Norman, if you would like this content removed, write staff at normanhaga.com and we can work something out. So the industry right there is saying, hey, if you're going to complain, then we're going to take this type of site out on you. This is exactly what these people do. Their entire purpose is to get money. Any person that they know of that publicly complains, they take websites like this out. I'll come back to this in other videos. It's not the purpose of this video. If we go into the Norman Haga mugshot and we take a look at it, well, we see a picture. If you look at the picture, throughout the picture in different places, they have mugshots.com branded on, onto the picture. This isn't even the picture itself. It's not the official picture. It's an altered picture that they put up for their own reasons. If you look at the unpublished, they have exclusive authorized dealers. In this case, they have unpublished mugshots.com and unpublished arrest. Unpublished, unpublished mugshots.com is owned by the son of the attorney for the industry. The attorney's name is Mark Gievsky. The owner of unpublishedmugshots.com is Harry B. Epstein. Harry B. Epstein himself is a convicted drug dealer in Florida. If you go into the photograph and you take a look at the official records, you will notice that there's no information. They have a mugshots.com ID that they're trying to put in to make it look official. They have the name, they have the birth date. In some of these images, they have the social security number, the address, and everything else of the person. Well, this is information that a person doesn't need to know. In fact, it is against federal law to display a social security number or personal information like the date of birth unless the person grants that permission. I do not grant that permission. If you take a look up here, they claim that the official record is being dis redistributed under the Freedom of, of Information Act. This is also false. Exception 7C 
of the Federal Informa Freedom of Information Act prohibits the release of personal information and booking photographs unless <coughs> there is written public permission from the person whose photograph it is. I've never given written permission. This also does not apply to the state that I live in because they don't have a Freedom of Information Act in Utah. So, on the face of it, what purpose is it? You see that they really don't have any news. They claim current events. And if you take a look, it's nothing more than more pictures. There is no news. Well, what can we say? The only purpose of the online mugshot industry is to extort money out of people. What is extortion or what is blackmail? Well, if we go take a look at my website, I have that information online. My website is normanhaga.nl. I begin this website to contradict and prove that the information on mugshots.com is false. And just frankly, it's scandalous and the only purpose is to extort a person. If we go in and we take a look at my website, normanhaga.nl, if you click from that link, you go to the landing page here. If you go over and you click on the blog, come down there's a link down here that has no picture associated with it that just goes in and it presents the information that's available if you run a search for blackmail here you come up with the federal statute 18 U.S.C. Section 1873. So let's go take a look at that. Blackmail. Whoever under a threat of informing or as a consideration for not informing against any violation of any law of the United States demands or receives money or any other valuable thing shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than one year or both. Well, mugshots on the face of it, is engaging in blackmail. Well, what does the U.S. Supreme Court have to say about this? The Supreme Court has held that the constitutional freedom of speech does not protect speech or writing used as an integral part of conduct in violation of a valid criminal statute. That's Gabuni versus Empire Storage and Ice Company, and it's noted at 336 United States, 490 at page 498. Well, we see that mugshots.com and other online mugshots, contrary to their claims, do not have a First Amendment right to depict a person's photograph, that they operate in violation of the law. The only purpose is to extort a person. This is an aspect of organized crime, very similar to the old Casa Nostra aspects where you were offered insurance, and if you did not pay the insurance, then your business or your home was set on fire. Thank you for your time.